This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. All right, now to the merger of social gaming and the music industry. The latest game from Facebook, Play Gigit, it lets users design virtual concerts from their favorite musicians. Now, John Acunto is the game's founder. He's also the chief executive. And joining me also, we have Brian Wong. He is the chief executive of Keep. It's a digital advertising and marketing services company that helps connect musicians to fresh sources of revenue. We all like fresh sources of revenue, don't we, Brian? It's yes, really it pretty good. People want to make money online. So what's the trend right now when it comes to music and reaching the actual audience. Isn't it just about a direct relationship between the musician, the composer, and the person that's listening? No, I think they, they also want to have a chance to create an interactive property that people can spend time on and, and live with them, really, and sort of engage even more as a fan. And so you're seeing a lot more musicians on both social uh, platforms and on mobile creating additional ways for a consumer to, to express their, their love for their music and for what they represent as an artist. So, John, uh, where does uh, Play Gigit fit into this and explain this idea of creating almost like a game on Facebook. Well, I mean, first and foremost is is that we wanted to create a platform where the artists could interact directly with their fan. And what makes this game really unique is that the artist in that process of doing that is also creating a brand new revenue stream with virtual goods. So uh, a fan can interact with an artist, create a concert, select their favorite music at the, and, and all of the virtual items around it. And at the same time, uh, the artist is collecting a uh, new form of revenue. So what would be an example of something like this? You pick an artist and right. the way that a fan would actually connect with them online. Yeah, so th they're literally, they're picking the artist, they're picking their favorite music, and then they're creating this concert. So they're choreographing the artist's dance moves. They're handling all of the lights and the sound, you know, all the effects around that concert. And then that concert is, is posting to the Facebook timeline for their friends to come in and experience and, and interact with. So where's the music right now? What kinds of musical interests are taking off in this world? Well, right now we started with, you know, obviously over 70 artists, 70 major artists from Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, Kendrick Lamar, T-Pain, uh, and so on. So in all of their songs associated with that. Brian, do you think that you're going to sign up for something like this? I mean, do you want to see the individual artist do your dance moves and sing your songs? No, I think it's good to interact and have them virtually interact with you. I think people want every method possible to get closer to the artist. And, you know, on our side, you've got uh, guys like Steve Aoki and Far East Movement in the EDM category also working on apps that uh, rewards are also a part of. So, you EDM, know, when you, I got to think about electronic it. Like dance, dance music, music, right? Exactly. Okay, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, keep yes. me hip a little bit. Exactly, sorry. So the whole angle of being a part of, again, like the modern consumer in that category, the folks that are attracted to that music, of course, are very smartphone enabled, very socially enabled. How could we bring them closer? And virtual goods and having the chance to reward and just make people feel like they're closer is just a really big deal right now. The minute you say virtual goods, I think of these emails or these little messages that you receive if you've ever played any online game that says, oh, you haven't been back for a while. Why don't you join us again and spend some more money on a virtual good? Is that kind of what we're talking about? Well, in this case, it could be both that, but then also branded artist goods. So things like a virtual hat or a virtual t-shirt or uh, even a song that, of course, they, that's still virtual. But at the end of the day, it could be very real for someone to have exclusive access to download a song. So with the artists they're working with, not only are they rewarding people with actual swag, but also virtual things like in, in Steve Aoki's app, it's, a, it's got something called... It's called now, who Aoka is he? Fun. Just explain for people. Oh, he's a EDM musician. He's just kind of Electronic a Electronic dance musician, like a DJ. He, he's a DJ, and he's got an app called Aokify, and you can essentially put things about his, basically representing his brand on pictures. It's like an Instagram with filters using his caricatures. And so the idea is there could be virtual things they could add, like you could add his hair on your face. It sounds kind of weird. Lots of really fun things, like, you know, his, you know, like his t-shirts and stuff like that. And then while Maybe doing you could that, give me hair, right? That would be just exactly. one of the positive it's things, the, right? One of the things that could happen, exactly. Uh, John, uh, so what age group does this, uh, does this go after? Well, interesting, you know, we just launched uh, last week, and we find that the majority right now are males under 34. And this is on Facebook, so on you Facebook. use them as the platform. Correct. 
And what kind of technology is involved in this? I mean, do you have it, to create these virtual characters? Yeah, so it's all 3D powered, 3D engines, and uh, and the whole lot. Exactly right. All right. Well, we're in real 3D. I want to thank you very much, uh, <laughs> John Okunto. He is the chief executive of Play Gigit. My thanks also to Brian Wong. He's the chief executive of Keep.